Welcome to the Tantra and Yoga podcast. These podcasts are recorded live at Anatara Ashram with Artemis and Bhairav in the Nishka Nation of Northern BC, Canada. For more information, you can visit anatara.org. Sometimes you're told something so many times, but then you finally hear it. When I like finally hear um, some teachings, I would feel this urge to write it down. I would forget it, or that mm-hmm. it's falling away. So I'm wondering if you could speak to like the sort of behind the scenes um, when you feel you understand something, and then it feels like it's maybe lost. Yeah, and it's very true. Also, that uh, at least for myself, the desire to write down what I'd experienced or what I'd learned was coming from this fear that I would lose it, that I I needed to like keep it somewhere. But, but in, in stepping from the teaching, like, you know, taking my first step out of the satsang hall or closing the book and immediately turning to write something down or you know, running to my room to journal it or to draw a picture or whatever what it is that would help me remember this moment. In a sense, I was immediately turning away from my, the opportunity to marinate in the understanding, to, to, to not just jump out of the teaching, you know, or, or the practice or whatever has just happened and start getting into the next, next thing, but to instead... To be still and to let it fully sink into like your bones. And this requires no effort, especially if there's actually been an understanding. When, when the understanding is there, it, like Muji Baba says, you know, it's like suram. It's already in the system. But if we're jumping out right away, uh, we're not giving time to let that, that medicine sink in. And so with this also comes a trust. You know, I, it's true that if, if we were to pick up my last journals from when I was 23 or something, I'm 24, something like this, I can, I, I, can, I can read you every quote that inspired me at the time, every lesson that I had, and from 24 to now, I don't have that anymore. I don't have, you know, all of these quotes and things, but I feel like more growth has happened uh, because I wasn't clinging to this need to to hold them, and rather an integration was given, uh, like there was space for integration. And so again, like I said, it, I don't have that um, ability to turn back to quotes. But there's an understanding here that that naturally uh, maybe recalls another person's quote or ha- starts to have my own. Because the understanding is here, and so I don't need to, to turn to what somebody said once or, you know, an experience that I had, because it's here. And the, the wisdom that comes from the heart is, is to me, um, far more potent and important than anything that can come from here. And so when, if an experience happens here or an understanding happens here and we jump to the mind to try to write it down or something, it, you know, we don't, we lose that full digestion, I guess is what I'm trying to say. I don't know if you want to add to that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I've always felt that, uh, that we can't really express um, what's happening in the heart. Mm-hmm. Um, we can try to, we can try to discuss and talk, we can try to write it down, try to write a poem, you know, draw a picture or something. Um, but, you know, the, there's a saying like what, what you've lost wasn't yours to start with, wasn't yours to begin with, you know? And the same way, like if, if, if it was something that was truly deeply understood, then you can't lose it. It's there. It's always there. Um, so we we can't have any fear of it going. Where is it going to go? You know, it wasn't there to begin with. There's nothing. It's so. 
So yeah, of course, like other things, like if we need to write down, like, I don't know, you, you're in meditation and you learn that if you put your breath in a certain way, you could, uh, I don't know, feel something else. And that's kind of different. That's like a very practical thing, you know, like you're in meditation and you suddenly started doing alternate nostril breathing in a different way, then that's something different, you know, that's actually a, something more to do with like uh, material knowledge to work with energy and whatever. <clears throat> but but when it comes down to the to the deepest understandings, you know, like the book is in your heart. Mm -hmm. And it's an open book. It allows knowledge to flow through it. Yeah, I, I, two things are arising for me in this moment. One is that there's nothing wrong with writing things down either. Just because you write it down doesn't mean that you haven't integrated the teaching. I just want to make that very clear. But there is something too, you know, also that, you know, the point, the place that you're in right now, just like trusting and not having to write it down out of a fear. And the second thing that's kind of um, rising is, you know, all of this understanding is actually inside of you. Um, it's not like something comes from the outside in. Really, it's, it's, you know, okay, maybe we could say, it's not like you gain something. It's already there. But something might be said or a practice might happen that causes you to wake up to a knowledge that's already inside of you. And so you, you can't undo that once it's truly been seen and heard and felt and known. Um, yeah, it's, it's there.